The news is filled with stories of consumers being turned down for credit or loans due to their credit score not being high enough. I'm Gail Cunningham, here to dissect your credit score and give you some tips on how to improve it. The most widely used score is known as the FICO. That scoring model reviews five areas related to your spending history, each weighted as to importance. The category with the highest weight looks at how you repay your debts. The single most important thing you can do to improve your score is to consistently pay your bills on time. Next in line is how much you've charged relative to how much credit you have. Keeping your balances low signals that you're in control of your spending and will help increase your score. Lenders are also interested in how long you've had your credit lines open. Having a long credit history demonstrates financial responsibility, something that definitely impresses the lender. The fourth component considered is how much new credit you have. Attempting to get too much credit at once can indicate that you don't have the cash to pay for your purchases. Limit applying for more credit than you need. And finally, Try to have a mix of credit lines. In other words, have some revolving charge accounts where balances and payments change from month to month, as well as some fixed payments, such as a vehicle or mortgage payment. This shows that you can handle your credit responsibilities regardless of how they're structured. Building and maintaining a high credit score will pay dividends in the form of a lower interest rate on loans and credit cards. This is one game where it's really fine to run up the score, and now you know how to do it. I'm Gail Cunningham, and that's your Financial Fast Fact.